I gotta congratulate you. The expanding family. How's everything going at home? It's going great. Yeah, it's going great. You know, we're a little bit like a little bit of lack of sleep in the house, but uh, we're doing well. Yeah. Rose doing well. Rose doing great. What a yeah. fierce warrior she, she is. is. Yeah. You pick the best names: Rocco, Jake, third baby. Rafa. Rafa. Yeah. How did you come up with that? You know, we just liked the name, and I hadn't named one of my children. I uh, hadn't given one of my children a Latin name yet. And God, so I I'd, been, I'd honored, you know, bo both moms' heritage, and so I wanted to honor um, my, my, my mom's side of the family. And, you know, Rafael Nadal had such a great year, yes. and we were, we were constantly keeping up with him and watching all his matches. So we were like, how about Rafa? That goes well with Rocco. Amen. And that was it. How's Rocco like him being a big brother? He loves being a big brother. He's a terrific big brother. Doting, loving. Yep, just wonderful with him and really gentle with him. And, my oldest is great with the both of them, and yeah, we couldn't ask for anything more. E.T. spoke with Bobby Cannavale at the Los Angeles premiere of his new animated film, Ferdinand. People think they got you all figured out based on how you look, but it's not that simple. This movie, it's so cool. Your kids can watch it. What made you want to be a part of it? Well, that was one of the reasons, and also it was my favorite book when I was a kid. I have a... Um, you know, I have a 22-year-old, I used to read it to him, and I, I, now I have a 22-month-old, and I have a four-week-old. We read it every night before we go to bed, and I just love it. I just love the story. I always felt different as a kid, and that book always sort of validated my feeling different. It made me feel like, you know, comfortable, you know? Absolutely. And it's a little great book about nonconformity that I love.